We watch as his vicious pit bull stalks an oblivious toddler. She is in great danger, as his pit bull could strike at any second. Pit bulls are predisposed to violence, especially against children, so someone needs to save this child before it is too late. We watch as his vicious pit bull stalks an oblivious toddler. She is in great danger, as his pit bull could strike at any second. Pit bulls are predisposed to violence, especially against children, so someone needs to save this child before it is too late. Many statistics and credible sources and studies support this, but people still believe false statistics that have been associated with pit bulls. One of the most misunderstood pieces of information about pit bull is actually what they are. Most people believe they are a breed of dogs. They are wrong. The Animal Humane Society defines pit bulls as a broad description for a type of dog that includes American Staffordshire Terrier, American Bull Terrier, American Pit Bull Terrier, and American Bulldogs. Pit bulls were originally bred from Old English Bulldogs in the early 1800s and were used in a sport called bull baiting, where one or two bulldogs would harass a bull until it collapsed. Bull baiting eventually became the sport we know as dog fighting. Pit bulls were bred for this purpose of dog fighting, and when immigrants from Britain came to America, so did pit bulls. For the majority of the 1900s, pit bulls were considered family and working dogs and they took on an all-purpose role doing whatever jobs had to be done. However, the perception of pit bulls began to change as dog fighting re-emerged in the 1980s, and their reputation got so bad that some cities went as far as to ban them. Luckily, the reputation of pit bulls have become better, and the media has begun to push a more positive image based on the facts regarding pit bulls. Despite this, many people still believe that pit bulls were bred to be fighting dogs, and as a consequence, they are more aggressive. However, most dogs that people believe are pit bulls are just mutts with similar characteristics to breeds commonly associated with pit bulls. They are no more predisposed to violence than any other dogs. Another popular myth regarding pit bulls is that they have locked jaws, but this is no evidence to support it. Pitbullsinfo.org says locked jaws do not exist in any dog breeds, so this is a complete myth. Additionally, many people believe that pit bulls have the strongest jaws and bites out of any dog breed. Yet studies show that the strength of dog bites are more related to their strength and size and not the breed of the dog. Pit bulls are also no more likely to bite people than any other dogs. Pitbullinfo.org says studies show that dog bite related fatalities, DBRFs, are not determined by the dog breed. It is a popular opinion that pit bulls are bad family dogs and that they are hard to train, but this cannot be more incorrect. Personally, my family has a pit bull, and she was very easy to train, as well as having no problems involving violence. Additionally, my experience is backed by statistics and studies, as pit bulls are not difficult to train. They score high on temperament tests, scoring in the top 23%. This is higher than friendly dogs like golden retrievers, so they are great family dogs. Pit bulls are unjustly discriminated against compared to other dog breeds, and I wish people would do proper research before spreading misinformation based on false stereotypes and myths. Some people may ask, if pit bulls are not aggressive or violent, then why am I seeing news stories of pit bulls mauling or even killing people all the time? Another reason is that dogs are commonly misinformed Mis commonly misidentified. Another reason is that dogs are commonly misidentified as pit bulls. 
pitbullinfo.org says pitbull type dogs are misidentified 50% of the time. This contributes to increased reports of pitbull attacks that are not really pitbulls. This is my dog Ginger. And she's a pitbull. She is sweet. She is loving. And she has never hurt a fly. Despite this, people are going to look at her and assume the worst. They're going to assume that she's a bad dog, that she's violent, that she can't be trusted around children. However, none of these things are true. We've had her for five years. We've never had a problem. She's the best dog we could have asked for. And that's why we need to educate people that it's not about the dog breed, it's about each individual dog. And that characteristics of a dog cannot be based off the breed and that you have to determine their behavior yourself. I think it's a travesty that dogs like Ginger are gonna be stereotyped just based off their appearance. But she's a great dog. I will not trade her for the world. And that's why we should all help to educate and stop the spread of misinformation regarding pit bulls because they are hated for no reason. Because pit bulls are just like any other dog.